Now we're going to go to our GMA cover story, that big Bachelorette finale. A happy ending for Katie and her new fiancé, Blake, after he popped the question. Kaylee Hartung spoke to the couple and joined us now. Good morning, Kaylee. Hey, Michael. It was all worth it. Katie told me 1,000%. Even though at times her journey was gut-wrenching to watch, she admittedly fell for multiple men, was shocked not once but twice when a couple of those guys left, and had her heart broken in the process. But Blake was patient and understanding, and it all paid off. The Bachelorette and her fiancé. After one of the most explosive departures in Bachelor history. I deserve more. To go home, I am done. And a quick goodbye to Justin. Katie putting it all on the line with Blake. Katie Lane Thurston. And getting the proposal of her dreams. Will you marry me? <laughs> I truly actually did not think he was going to propose. And so then when he actually got down on one knee and proposed, my reaction is actual shock. I'm freaking out. Like the nerves we saw before the proposal, <laughs> they're gone. Yeah, but I'm good now. <laughs> All good now. But yeah, I was freaking out for sure on that day. He walked up, he had tight pants on, and I looked at the pockets and there was no box. And I was like, oh no. And so when he said the line, I can't give you what you came here for. I was just trying to like not give away that I was so sad. Where was the ring hidden? It was in the back pocket. <laughs> They're too tight in the front. <laughs> Their love story unconventional, even for Bachelor Nation. <laughs> what is it about Katie that gave you the confidence to take the risk, to show up late, to then stick with it through the entire process? She just was everything that I thought she was going to be and just bold and confident and just made just decisions and decisive. I'm like, that's hot. I love that. <laughs> So what made you want to go on this season after you flunked out of the last one? Yeah, flunked. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone ever put you on the hot seat quite like Aunt Lizzie? No, never. never <laughs> no. I just want to see her in real life now. <laughs> yeah. and, like, just have a beer and clink one and be like, remember that time? <laughs> <laughs> but before they could get to happily ever after, there was heartbreak Katie needed to recover from. How different was your conversation with Greg in the moment that it happened versus how you experienced when you watched it back on television? Oh, I, it's day and night different. You know, in the moment, and I think you see it, I am, I'm apologizing and I feel bad and I'm confused. And then seeing the way that he spoke, that I was mad. <laughs> I was pretty mad, um, which was nice. It, it gave me the closure I needed. I don't think you know what love is. How were you able to move on and recognize that, that your person was still there? When I really took the time to reflect, like, okay, was Greg my actual person? Would we have worked outside of this? And I think had I been with him watching this all back, it, I don't know that we'd be sitting on the couch together. Now, after more than three months of short clandestine visits and a lot of FaceTiming, the couple relieved to start their next chapter together. I feel like a weight has been lifted off our shoulders because it's, it's been long. It feels like a year, honestly. First thing we're trying to do is, like, what's it like? driving together in a car. <laughs> What's yeah, it like getting yeah. coffee together? Are there wedding plans in the works? Yeah. At some point, there's certainly a wedding. There's no doubt about that. Will there be roses at the wedding, though? I'm done with them. I was, good. I was just I'm like, done. I hope not. I'm done. I don't no. want to hear another rose. No, no, I no. <laughs> <laughs> What's on my mind? So before the happy couple can plan a wedding, they say they first need to figure out where they're going to live. Katie's getting a new place in San Diego. Blake has his in Canada. They're going to try to enjoy both homes and figure it out one day at a time together. Michael. All right. Good luck to that love story, Kaylee. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.